Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the last few weeks, Ukrainian counter-offensive military operation in the southern region of Kherson has been a huge setback for Russian forces. As per reports, Russian armed forces were likely to quit the western bank of Dnipro River where Moscow has been evacuating citizens in recent weeks. Ukraine's effort to strangle Russian supply lines in the past month have left Moscow with limited means of moving people and supplies across the river. The all three bridges that straddle the waterway around Kherson city has been struck by US supplied HIMARS system in recent months. Damage to the main river crossing means Russian units are at risk of being pinned against the river by the advancing Ukrainian forces. At the same time, if we talk about the deadliest weapon of modern era, it is hypersonic missile, which can travel at a speed greater than Mach 5 and cannot be neutralized by any air defense system at present. Russia is a leading in this technology and it has used Kinzhal hypersonic missiles several times in the ongoing conflict with Ukraine. However, Russia having capability of launching hypersonic missile is struggling against HIMARS in Kherson region and is on the verge of losing it. This again proves the fact that artilleries are the god of war. The hypersonic missiles are very costly. These missiles use a special composite material built to sustain high temperature and uses a scramjet engine. Again, these all components are very costly. The Russia-Ukraine conflict has already completed the nine months. So these cost missiles cannot be used in large numbers in a prolonged war as it will heavily raise the cost of war. At the same time, artilleries and rockets cost nothing when compared with the hypersonic missile. The guided rockets which have been used by Ukrainian forces have done most of the damage to Russian forces. In the first week of October, the US government has announced an additional $625 million in security assistance headed to Ukraine. The latest aid package of US includes four HIMARS systems and its associated ammunition, 16M777 155mm Hovitzer, 75,000 artillery rounds for the Hovitzer, as well as 500 M8E2 Excalibur precision guided rounds. And there are many more which have been supplied by US government. Earlier, 20 HIMARS system has been sent by US to Ukraine. So just with 20 HIMARS system, Ukraine has been able to do significant damage to Russian forces. Imagine what Ukraine would have been capable of doing if it had significant number of HIMARS system. The HIMARS, as we know, can fire rockets and missiles ranging from 9 kilometers to 499 kilometers. However, the ammunition given to Ukraine has limited range of just 70 kilometer, which still brings Russian forces in the range of HIMARS and can be bad for the morale of Russian troops. Beyond the physical damage, these rockets are going to have huge psychological impact. The guided rocket used by Ukrainian forces in HIMARS is similar to guided Pinaka developed by DRDO having a range of 75 km. While HIMARS can fire 6 such rockets from its pod, Pinaka is capable of firing 8 guided rockets. In advent of prolonged war, India will also have to rely heavily on its Pinaka MBRL and artilleries. While US is struggling with meeting demands of HIMARS, India has at present public and private companies like Solar Industries manufacturing Pinaka rocket system and ammunition. Recently, Solar Industry has also proposed a 130 to 150 km range rocket and a 250 km range missile which can be fired from existing Pinaka system. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.